This movie is based on a novel of the same name by Stephen King. It's also a reboot of the 1984 film adaptation. It tells a story about a young girl named Charlie who tries to understand how she mysteriously gained the power to set things on fire with her mind. First of all, there's one good thing about this movie. It's the recording of the interviews and the experiments in the opening credits. It shows off how Charlie got her powers and then transitions into interviews with Andy and Vicky about their entry into the program. These interviews are the most interesting and thought-provoking section of the film. It's an interesting concept that goes far deeper than the plot of the movie does. This idea could have been explored more as something better than what we got in the film. Unfortunately, apart from that opening, this movie is simply bad. This film is a mix of directing and screenwriting failure. The subsequent narrative undermines the initial premise, leaving too many questions without any explanation or with very weak resolutions. The recurrence of childhood bullying and endemic in the United States doesn't work too well, revealing itself as narrative abuse that is too easy and ends up using too much time in a story that seems to move slowly at the beginning only to accelerate inexplicably in the end. The movie ignores any importance of both the characters and their world. The plot is really dry and doesn't go as deep into the shady dealings of the federal agency that created Charlie and her parents. No character reacts normally to what is happening around them. Their every move to solve the problem they face seems futile. Some clear explanations given as a cause such as self-preservation and ethical issues, but it still doesn't justify their action. The performances of the entire cast are just enough. Nothing really stands out, which doesn't improve much on what the original movie had already done in the 80s. It lacks any distinct personality beyond the standard beats of fire, rinse, and repeat. The special effects are simply mediocre as well. It's really surprising that after the promising opening, for the rest of 90 minutes runtime, the movie really transcends absolute mediocrity. This is a film that never finds its direction and whose plots go nowhere and dissolve into nothing. John Carpenter produces some part of the music which sounds quite good. Unfortunately, he's not in the director chair. In the end, the lack of interesting direction and a very bland ending make the movie crumbles. This movie is simply not worth our time. We do not recommend this movie at all.